Tubbo. It's Danny Nelly Fly. Danny Nelly Fly, everybody. Yeah. Rob and I are in our teens again. Dreaming of all those great hair metal bands that we used to listen to back in the day. I was worried what you were going to say that we were doing in our teens <laughs> no, that's then. That's true. Probably playing something <coughs> not dissimilar to this, I suspect. I was saving all my hard-earned cash for a Digitech RP1. Oh, or uh, what, what else would there or have a been? a Boss. A, a, a Dodd. Um, what was the Dodd pedal that I really wanted? The, the, metal, the heavy metal. Oh, grunge. The grunge. Well, that was more 90s, wasn't it? All yeah. Of a sudden. But, but uh, in the anyway. second-hand shop I went to, they still had one of those. <laughs> so... Here's a, here's a video that I suppose is going to be quite a good demo of the Charvel DK24, but it's kind of not really the point of this video. I, um, I was kind of intrigued. I've met a lot of guitarists in my time who, um, who have <coughs> elected to take pickups out because they kind of are convinced that, you know, just even pickups that they're not using have an effect on the pickup that they are using. You're talking about Phil X, aren't you? Yeah, he's not the only guy. I mean, I've not, I never met him, but you know, Malcolm Young did something similar. But so I, I spotted these three guitars that we were selling. I thought this will be an interesting one because they're all the same construction of guitar, same trim, same timbers, all that kind of stuff. Largely as well, the pickups are the same models. So, you know, for example, the bridge pickups are all the Seymour Duncan SH10 Seymour Super Duncan. Shred. Seymour Duncan, Seymour Duncan, master of the pickup universe. Um, yes, yeah, so it's all the SH10 uh, shred, which I, I'll be <coughs> honest with you, I'm not terribly familiar with, but it's the same in all, all of them. Don't you the, feel the power of the shred coursing through your veins? Yeah. The neck uh, humbucker is always, if there is one, is always an Al Nico um, Pro 2 humbucker. So here and here. The <coughs> only difference, I think, is that the two single coils on that one are the SSL 6s, and this is an Al Nico 2 uh, uh What's the SSL6? Remind me, is it the, is it the, it's not the hot stack, it's, it's the... It's the cu something... Uh, ah, custom the flat. Floor knowledge. The custom flat, yes. Right. Um, <laughs> so, I guess what we're really doing is probably primarily focusing on how the, how the, the bridge and the neck pickups change in sound yeah. across the three <clears throat> guitars. Well, there are a couple of other um, ergonomic changes. Ergonomical. With these pickup, with these pickup configurations. So, for example, if one was of the uh, finger picking, uh, hybrid picking, you know, persuasion, I often find having a middle pickup really gets in the way. Now, See, that might sound strange mm -hmm. because the first ever Chapman had this configuration, but it did. To overcome that problem, I wound that down deeper than down, down, deeper, deeper than down, 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 down as deep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I wound it right down to the, almost to the floor. <laughs> And then when you kick it in, it's this like cool, funky, yep. spanky, quiet thing, but it's out of the way. Well, look, so these are, as I said, these are all called DK24s. Um, they, they are, in all fairness, not terribly dissimilar <coughs> to the model that uh, Guthrie Govan uses, you know, the custom shop Charvel. So you've got some nice little features here, the way the input jack goes in, uh, the neck join sort of contour. It's, it's a beautiful, these are really popular and really beautiful and we've got some satin finish ones there are gloss finish ones there's ones with floyds and hardtails but these are so these are all the same obviously the pink one's best uh strictly speaking not pink there is a proper pink one this is burgundy mist oh come on because if you've ever walked through burgundy mist you would know <laughs> not red mist it's this like this is like it's, like it's, it's rose, a slightly less angry version of red mist. It's like rose gold on an iPhone, <laughs> but more pink is what it is. It's when, it's when you get into an argument with someone in the pub and the burgundy mist comes down, you just buy them another pint and let it go. <laughs> it's all fine. This is my life with my <laughs> wife every day when I go, that's pink. She goes, that's not pink, that's an off salmon. And I, it's pink. <laughs> right. Uh, Rob and I are plugged into different guitar amplifiers, so of course we'll get some slightly different sounds. But uh, I have, uh, on pop by popular demand in the comments section, enforced a clean channel on Rob. So if you press the button saying channel Rob. Okay. Channel Rob. No, but it is just channel. It doesn't say channel Rob. Uh, so you that... will now have. See. Let's just neck pick up. Yep. Strummy, strummy, whatever you want to do, Pet chords, pickup. funk, whatever, and okay. we'll go this guitar, you know, that guitar, this guitar, this yeah, guitar, yeah, yeah. and you'll get an idea of, of, you know, some of the big differences. So, so I'll do chords and funk. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Chords and funk. Chords and funk. Can I also do a lead? You could do it with some distortion. In fact, we could just literally do a full neck pickup demo of that guitar. Ah, see? Uh, right, next. <laughs> huh? Huh? Ah, the gold one. Huh? It's gold now. Okay. Because uh, obviously it's not pink, therefore it's got to be black. Is it you're black you're doing exactly the same as I am, yeah. which is. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's the upside down mode. Huh? Okay, so the black, gold, pink guitar. Sorry, sorry. No, no, you no. are right. Yeah. I am right. That mm. is clean tone. It's mm. just a little bit pokey from so, these. See, we're not getting bigger. Interestingly, though, so this this straight away, we've not changed any settings on the amplifier. You can see it's much harder to get a crystal clean sound now with a, a humbucker. Yeah, I could get a dark crystal yeah. clean sound. <laughs> It doesn't have the the clarity of the single coil, does it? It it's, feels it's like more it's woolly. lacking a little bit of something in the middle. You think so? I feel like it's so much ass on it. Yeah, that it's the a big, ass powerful overrides sound, a lot of the other bits of the spectrum. I like it. Now, what Charvel have done on this model is rather than give you a coil tap switch, which I guess none of us in the, in the video team are massive fans of coil tapped humbuckers in sense of you know trying to get that real nice sounding single coil sound it has a parallel series switch on this now i'll try and you know in layman's terms a normal humbucker is wired in series and if you imagine uh, the signal coming from your guitar into the pickup it goes through one coil and then is joined to the next coil so it goes through the second coil after it's gone through the first coil and then out into the guitar amplifier and that's your normal humbucking sound typically you know it's a it's a powerful loud um what you'd expect from a humbucker if you flip that switch into its upward mode it goes into a parallel mode so what's happening is the signal is going through both coils simultaneously not one after the other not well, basically, exactly like it would be on a Strat if you were in position two or four. The only difference being is that on the Strat, the pickups are further apart, whereas on a humbucker, they're right next to each other. So Shall we can, show that? It does sound more single coily in its parallel mode. Yeah. So from... the single coil on that one because I'm still feeling like it hasn't got the sparkly kind of clarity that just a completely traditional single coil has got. Of course the even in parallel mode a humbuck is still hum cancelling so you get that advantage but I actually prefer it. You prefer that? Yeah I prefer, See, I prefer that. that. Yeah. <clears throat> like, this is nice but it's a little dark and that seemed a bit brighter but also I love black gold guitars so I think they're really good. You're fundamentally, hopefully, getting the idea of what I hoped this video would be more so than a Charvel demo. It's, it's about helping you choose when you're looking at a guitar and you've got options about, you know, do you have an HSH op option or HSS or whatever? You go, oh, OK, I get it a bit more now and, you know and what I can it is? make a it's informed like decision. A lot of people don't realise how much of a difference a guitar yeah. cabinet or speaker makes. Yeah. You know, I'll have that 2 by 12 what's, what's inside it? I don't care, it's a cab. Uh, pickup configurations, series parallel, that makes such a big difference too. 100%. Just like, you know, tone. Huh? Anyway, right. So, this guitar next? Yeah, okay. 
Um, although, did we do that one with some gain on the neck pick? No, we didn't. Sorry if this is a bit See, sort of... See, now um, you've gone from giving me a clean channel to removing the gain entirely. Yes. So. And I guarantee you there'll be positive comments I'll in take the comments you to section. A, I'll take you to a high court and deem that illegal before you can count to ten. Okay. series as well so it's He's gone to the bridge pickup. That's the second part of the demo. Play okay, sorry. <clears throat> so we're staying. Uh, the final, final neck pickup option that we've got here is a full humbucker Alnico Pro. Two. Actually, it's the same humbucker that's in this one, but we now don't have the option to run it in anything other than series mode, so normal humbucker. But does it sound different now, this guitar, because you've got an extra little magnet in the middle pulling those strings down? It will Maybe sound it different will. because it's green. Well, that's true. It'll definitely sound more environmental. It'll have that Fleetwood Mac zone. <laughs> Straight back to that one. That sounded darker to me. Do you think so? I'm trying to work out how much, how much more of the treble strings I'm hearing in the mix, but not just immediately under my nose because obviously I can hear it. Now you've said it, I yeah. think maybe you're right. Now why? Tolerances, it could be anything. To be honest with you, we, these are all fresh out of the box. They've all got fresh strings. They're all 9 to 42 gauge strings. I mean, there's always tolerances in any Well, there's guitar. a bar in this one, so we well, have a little bit of that high end mid and not in that one, Lee. But so. one would assume the biggest difference between these two guitars is the lack of a middle pickup. Is the neck pickup in exactly the same position? It is really, isn't yep. it? It's shunted right up against the yep. neck. Same position. Mm. All right, well, look, let's move on. Let's go, let's just do a straightforward one, two, three, four, five on, on all three guitars, okay. and then you can just... Do you want a clean then tone just, or? Uh, well, oh, we're on clean, aren't we? Yeah, I'm just going to give you a clean tone. Like, hella it's versatile. Great. It's great. really and, versatile. And that's doing exactly what you'd expect most guitars with an HSH configuration to do, which is in position two and four, the inner coil of each humbucker is being used with the single coil in the middle. Yeah. So it's very, it's a very stratty kind of vibe. Yeah, I, I couldn't play it unless this was pushed. I mean, I could play it, but it, would, it wouldn't be practical unless this was pushed yeah. down. Yeah, I mean, that's a really interesting fact. I, I must admit, because I don't really finger pick. I only use a yeah, pick. Yeah, because as plectrum. soon as you do, it's in the way of your fingers yeah, if so you want to get a purchase. It's never, I've never, that's never bothered me. You know what Pete would tell me though? He'd go, just play it. He would just play it. And then he'd beat you with a, a Danish, uh, Pete, Just play the guitar! Pork leg. <laughs> <laughs> One of those big pepperami sausages that oh, he yeah. eats. That he carries Dip in his pocket. Get the lure pack butter first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spread legs all over the floor and make you walk over them with your bare feet. <laughs> You, 
don't expect to hear that from this guitar, do you? It's great. Uh, I don't, maybe I do. But anyway, blue one. So You mean this off-white? Grey, primer grey. I don't even know what colour that's called. Primer grey? <clears throat> that reminds me so much of my... Uh, no, my, <laughs> <laughs> my painting uh, Citadel miniatures as a child. Running I used to do that as well. Did I wasn't very really? good at it, but I used to do it. Yeah. Oh, I used to stand man. outside model shop windows admiring all the Me Warhammer too. stuff that they'd lined up. Wow. Something Honestly, else you got in common. Yeah, if we'd, have been, if we'd have lived in the same town when we were kids, oh, we would have played we'd together. have definitely been dungeon and dragoning together. Yeah. Just yours... like the kids in Stranger Things, I think that's what oh, we'd have been. Mm. All that lead all over our fingers. Yeah. <laughs> lead, lead, lead. Yeah, get it in you. Okay, so... Uh... Drinking E-numbers by the gallon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sun you know I bought Remember recently? That? I bought a soda stream. <laughs> that's gone back now. Apparently, someone was saying that's one of the biggest selling products of the year, soda stream. It was such a blot, a beef and a pea. It's supposed I loved to be it. environmentally quite sort of good because you don't, you're not constantly throwing plastic away. Not, no, I'm serious. Yeah, 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 I suppose hey, so. Sort of recycling. But there, there's only like five different kinds of drink you can get. When I was a kid, it was get like busy witches. with the fizzy. Yeah, <laughs> get busy with it. There was like witch's brew, monster blue drink, and all this kind of stuff that's probably <laughs> oh, banned now. Oh, man. Anyway. Any, anybody under the age of 40 is just, they've probably just go and watch something else now haven't they like Steve Turnberry or something for kids you know. <laughs> uh, <But> anyway. <laughs> here's the bridge pickup one up middle that's a really nice usable tone Sounds like. Do us a favour, just again, just because we talked too much between it. Can you just go from like position five and position four on this one versus that one on okay. a plain sound? on the neck and obviously and then um, cleaner on the middle it, I don't like four. I prefer the I do prefer the single at the neck with when it's in position uh, four yeah I agree with you I prefer the single when it's in position four but when it's in five I, I, I think yeah. I prefer um, that one mm. sounds great doesn't it mm. These trams are great too. Yeah, they are. Really, really good. Go toe trams. trams. All of the pickup sounds combined. Mega versatile again. Bit with Avec Lagan. Avec Lagan. <laughs> It's everything you ever need. Just from a sound point of view as well, should just Rob's rig today is a Friedman Runt uh, on its, uh, and we're using both channels of the Friedman Runt, but even on the gain channel, we've got the gain about halfway up with no boost function. And then we're using the snake oil very thing very to thing. just punch it right in the nuts, basically, when you want to go yeah. to sort of that so higher gain the, stuff. The amp gain is this. That 
that's not that wasn't um oh, that's the free that's the oil Friedman and on top the of pedal Friedman. yes that we wasn't. oiled it yes we oiled it yes oiled which is Friedman. and i use the very thing on my board for exactly that all the time it's one of the best kind of you know punch not something to, in the nuts already pedal <laughs> not to harp on about the snake oil but that's not all of the gainly that's just like a very small amount of the game oh no i agree you know, if i was to put all of the game no but then i don't like it with all the amp game <laughs> gain on the pedal because it creates a slightly more open sound but hey last guitar the black one absolutely the uh, the orange polka dot one um so i guess this is going to have so this is a pickup system that someone like prs back in the 80s kind of really sort of pioneered this idea that you just had two humbuckers but in position two and you still had a five-way switch and positions two and four would do um would split the humbuckers and give you <coughs> sort of these out of phase sounding inner and outer coils. The only thing you don't have on this is the middle position on the switch now is both humbuckers like it would be on a Les Paul. So the only way really on that to, well, I guess there just isn't really an out and out middle position single coil. I've just had an idea. It might have be a you? crazy idea, but I'm going to say it on camera just in case I've come up with it. And then if we ever do it for, you can patent for, it, for our trademark own thing, it. Yeah. then it's us. Yeah. But um, sometimes when you're playing, it's difficult to know whether you're on three or, or two or four, if you've got a five way. Why has nobody just had an LED system that lights up a little light on top of the individual set or, or pick yeah. up to tell you visually where you are? Have I ever thought to myself, oh, I don't know where I am. I've just sort of gone, I'm there. I this might know. be quite might be quite cool to just go, and then or even if the whole pickup would like light up with like an '80s Tron, you know, circular glow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hey man, come on, yeah. right? So middle pickup, middle pickup on a clean sound. A clean sound. Oh no, so just well go th go through all of them. I okay, mean, uh, and do you want it down or up? Everything. So oh, actually, we've everything. got we've got ten. Okay, we've got ten. Actually, I don't think we can have. I can't see how that switch does anything on positions two and four. Maybe it does. Let's find Maybe out, shall magic. we? Why not? Now, that was with the switch down. Yeah. Here is with the switch up. Much clearer and brighter. Mm. the switch with it in position two because I don't think I want to know if it makes a difference or not big difference I'm very confused so it's got, like so you got ten positions in I have a one ten night positions stand. in a one night stand yeah I knew wow. you were going to say that yeah. that's, uh, that's my favourite thing to say mm. uh, and, and the game when you add the game to it mm. uh, it Do will it. sound very different yeah. with the um, different positions so pick up don't you now I'm confused because 
If you'd have asked me beforehand which guitar I think I'm going to like the best out of all of them, it would not have been the one with two humbuckers on it. Right. And I'm still not sure that, that my brain likes fiddly extra toggle switches. But in terms of tonality-wise, that's got a lot going I'll tell you what, it. if we take off the lead gain sound and mm. just give it... You'll really hear more mm. of a difference because it's being less compressed. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to hear more of the spikes and the pits and troughs. So here is... You know what I think it's doing in those positions two and four? It's still deciding whether or not the two inner or outer coils are in parallel or yeah. series. So you're getting these, you're still getting these kind of wide humbucker <laughs> kind of sounding series. Yeah. I really like that. And it's not the one I thought I would. The problem will be is if you go, oh, my favorite tone is that one on the down. And yeah. my other favorite tone is that one on the up. Yeah. What are you going to do? In the words Wait, of my son's Danish coming. Pete. Just do it. <laughs> just, just, just do it. And then you'll be fine. <laughs> well, look, there we are. Hopefully that was a useful little uh, tour around. I said less so about the guitars, although I cannot say enough. I was shopping uh, for a guitar in that sort of eight, nine hundred pound bracket. I would absolutely want one of these. Um, but yeah, this was more about pickups and stuff, but interesting. Interesting. What are your thoughts, everybody? Have we changed your opinion? Your preconception? Your <laughs> I, I've been Rob Chapman. I've been the captain. Bye. Thanks, Jam. Oh, I just threw my pick away. I said it out. Huh? <laughs> 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 <laughs>